There is a very good chance that a lot of you watching this video haven't ever played a Delta Force game. The first game came out way back in 1998 with the sequel landing the year later and I remember playing the demo non-stop. Demos were a thing back then and usually found on CDs attached to the front of gaming magazines. Those were the days. Now you may have seen some videos or screenshots of Delta Force 2. It had the most absurd heads up display of any game I've ever seen. There were quite a few games that followed that though. Land Warrior, Task Force Dagger, Urban Warfare, and of course the classic Black Hawk Down to name a few. But the last game that Nova Logic released, the developers, the studio behind the games, was way back in 2009. What's more interesting than that though is a game that Nova Logic released in 2004 called Joint Operations Typhoon Rising. Joint Ops was a multiplayer focused game with up to 150 player games online. And that was via a system called Nova World, or up to 64 players online or overland if you just wanted to host your own games. It had modern weapons, vehicles, classes, large scale maps up to 64 kilometers squared. Does this start to remind you of anything? Well, Joint Ops was sort of Battlefield 2 before Battlefield 2 arrived. No doubt 1942 and BF Vietnam had some inspiration on Joint Ops, but Battlefield 2 didn't release until the year after. But there is no doubt that Nova Logic was trying to emulate the formula that DICE had already achieved so far with Battlefield. Now fast forward to today and we have a new Delta Force game. Nobody saw this coming <laughs> on the horizon. And it's the reason I took you down memory lane because Delta Force Hawk Ops is once again trying to emulate Battlefield and given some of the negativity around BF 2042 and the lack of destruction maybe, this time around it could do it and steal some of that audience. The game isn't being made by the original studio though, as Nova Logic are no longer around. THQ Nordic purchased the company assets, but Tencent have now acquired the license and they're using one of their subsidiary companies, Timmy, to develop the game. Before we get into the new game though and what we can expect from the multiplayer, part of the release of Hawk Ops is a complete remaster of one of the most popular Delta Force games ever, Black Hawk Down. The studio has remastered the game, featuring what they describe as high definition warfare. I see what they did there. They're going to retell the story, bringing back classic characters from the campaign and sending players back into the streets of Mogadishu. And I feel as though the success of the recent Call of Duty reboots means that they can attempt to make something special here and interesting with the modern engines and improved tech at their disposal. We saw a small snippet of what they've got to offer at the very beginning of the recent trailer and on first impressions it looked good, certainly very different and upgraded from the original. One of the coolest things about the studio working on the game is that they seem very excited about it and they've said that there are a number of diehard Delta Force fans working on the studio that grew up playing the original games on PC, which I think is good to hear. They're going all out to provide good experiences here too. They say that it's built on the most advanced engine, but it's not clear if that's their own engine, something proprietary, or could it just be Unreal Engine 5? But they do go on to say, that they've spent a lot of time traveling to places like West Africa to get source material that they can use with their photogrammetry system. So they're scanning real assets and making them 3D. Fidelity here should be pretty high. They did also mention DLSS, Nvidia Reflex and ray tracing, as well as saying they're partnering with Nvidia, AMD and Intel to try and get the most out of the game and have it run well on a variety of systems. Speaking of getting the most out of the game though, they said they got Navy SEALs advising them on this title, so you'd hope that it's going to lean more towards the tactical side than the run and gun. That's up for debate though when we look at the gameplay and the info. So outside of the remastered Black Hawk Down campaign, there are two main components to this new Delta Force game, Hazard Operations and Havoc Warfare, both offering up a very different experience from each other but also from the Black Hawk remaster. The remastered campaign is set in the early 90s, like the original, but Hawk Ops is actually set in 2035, so it's a modern-ish shooter, a little bit in the future, but with some futuristic elements, especially when it comes to gear and weapons. Havoc Warfare is your all-out, large-scale multiplayer mode, whereas Hazard Operations is an extraction mode that sounds a little bit like DMZ. So Hazard Ops is a squad based game mode with up to three players in your squad and before you begin the mission you'll go ahead and choose your gear, classes, map and your route. More on classes in a minute. The route part though has me quite intrigued because it certainly seems as though it will be more tactics based. 
And then you insert into the map and you try to hunt down rare loot and compete for blueprint crates or while fighting the enemy AI and rival squads. You then have to reach the extraction point alive with your squad. The devs claim that it's the most tactical version of the extraction genre to date and they also claim that random events across the map will keep players engaged. It all sounds very interesting and it seems as though a lot of the gameplay we've seen in the announcement trailer is from the hazard operations mode. I should also mention that the game is planned to release on consoles, PC and mobile but it's in good hands apparently because the Timmy general manager Leo Yao has led the development on Crossfire Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile so he definitely knows a thing or two about big franchises running on your phone. Now before we talk about the main event, the main game mode in multiplayer, let's talk classes or operators. It's all sounding very familiar for Battlefield fans, isn't it? But not quite the same as BF2042, so don't worry, at least not yet. There are four operators that fit into four classes. Assault, Sniper, Medic and Engineer. I'm not going to go too in depth into what they all do because I don't want to bore your faces off, but it's your typical fare, Medic heals, Assault, Assault, Sniper, Snipes, etc. All with their own unique abilities and such, but... I'm not sure how people are going to feel about heroes and abilities if they're looking to get that battlefield audience, especially with stuff like recon arrows and speed boosts. It's definitely not for everyone, maybe not the right call here, but we're going to talk about the bread and butter of the game though. And this is what you've seen a lot of in the clips that I've been showing you here. The battlefield style game mode, the large scale multiplayer. And just like with Hazard Ops, you can select one of the four classes to play as infantry, but you're also going to get access to ships, battle tanks, black op helicopters, armored vehicles, A-10 attack planes, and heavy ATVs. One of the descriptions of this mode is experience dynamic and realistic battlefield from a first person perspective, engage in all out land, sea and air combat, and feel the adrenaline rush of two way offense and defense. It sounds like it could have been plucked directly off the website for the next battlefield game if we didn't know any better. One thing that we don't know just yet though is the scale. There is no mention of player count or map size. All we know is that it's over 32. I mentioned earlier that Join Tops was 150 players back in the day, but with modern graphics engines and the visual fidelity that we've come to expect these days, maybe that's asking for too much. One thing that we do know is coming though, which is pretty cool, is the destruction. And we've seen it in action in the deep dive video. It looks like that you can bring down entire buildings and at least destroy them in a very similar way to old school Battlefield titles. As we know though, this all sounds great, looks good in the trailers, but of course, map design is the key. If the maps aren't up to scratch, the game will struggle and the destruction might just be a bit of a mute point. Last of all, the game is going to be free to play which honestly shouldn't surprise any of us as it is Tencent at the head after all. I would expect a fair amount of microtransactions of some sort though. That's par for the course these days. And I think as long as the game itself plays well and they're not paywalling anything or offering pay to win, I don't think most players will have an issue here if it's just cosmetic. Time will tell, we'll have to wait and see. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this preview, this look at Delta Force Hawk Ops. Kind of came out of nowhere. I don't think anyone expected the Delta Force franchise to be rebooted, but here it is. I'm also expecting a lot more games to pop up soon, trying to emulate that Battlefield formula. Probably spurred on by the success of Battle Bit 2. There's a lot of opportunity in this market right now, especially with the next Battlefield game, possibly two or three years away. Exciting times ahead. Let me know your thoughts below. Hope you're all doing well. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.